Well, I didn't think I'd be recording this video. I've been working on some other stuff, but this kind of irked me when I heard about it. The governor mentioned yesterday, or maybe it was the day before, about Florida having a surplus of money and they're going to use it to hire officers for all the schools and then upgrade physical stuff like bulletproof glass and whatnot or some other physical stuff. But uh, it seemed to me kind of crazy. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for protecting the kids. I have three nieces and a nephew in school. and um, But, you know, 4,200 public schools in Florida. 656, I believe, charter schools. So almost five, oh, almost 5,000 schools. The average salary for a security guard is $25,000. The average salary for a resource officer, a school resource officer, is $42,000 a year. So just at 4,200 public schools, you're talking... Well, at the security guard salary, it's $105 million a year, and this would be every year, versus $176.4 million for the resource officer salary. Uh, to me, what they should be doing is hiring ex-military, like for resource officers or for teachers, those that are not afraid to run towards the, towards the action, uh, versus cower down and hide or, you know, avoid it. But they can make like a task force of either the resource officer or if it's a teacher with the ex-military experience, they put, put a task force together and meets like a month, every month with the, maybe the police department, the school resource officer, the teachers that would be involved, even if some juniors or seniors wanted to be part of it this way there's people in every section of the school that would know if something like this happened what they have to do with their classroom or section of group of classrooms um to me that just makes more sense then you have a you know a, a group or i mean you could have a dozen maybe 20 people even more and like i said they're prepared instead of hiring people that are most likely you know the as many numbers of schools there are there's only a very few compared to the number, few shootings compo compared to the number of schools there are. So most likely a lot of these schools will never have something like this happen, thankfully, and thank God, you know. Um, but I've even come up with a name for it. You could call it STAT, and you, there's a few different things you could um, have the letter stand for. S could be student, school, or special. T could be teacher or threat. A would be awareness, action, or assessment, and then the last T would be team. So, student, teacher, awareness team, student, teacher, action team, student, teacher, assessment team, special threat assessment team, special, special threat awareness team, special threat action team, um, school teacher, aware, you know, th all those different things. School teacher awareness team, school teacher action team, school teacher assessment team. And also, the benefit of not spending the money on officers would be to be able to spend that money on upgrades to the infrastructure like critical points you know there's big panes of glass that are glass that need to be converted to bulletproof or putting barricades in so that you can barricade doors but also just a quick thought i gave was a, a little array of microphones you could have a computer that's wired to three microphones maybe on the outside possibly three on the inside that if there was a sound, you would have the computer would catalog all the bullet sounds, all the guns that shoot all the bullet sounds. And if those microphones picked up that exact frequency or whatever you want to call it, spectrum of shots, they'd be able to locate exactly where they were, direct the people towards the opposite way or a safe way out. Uh, that would seem a lot more... Uh, beneficial what word do you want to use for it but to me that that plan with the with the task force type that seems a lot more sensible you know but the governor he's a businessman he's supposed to be has a had a big company i guess before he came into into office and i get um with the you know with everything that happened news on charles lives and everything it's um very emotional so you want to do as much as you can um, but this is, like I said, this is not a one-time cost. This could be every year. 
So, and you know, I, I don't think there's anything, any price you could put on protecting children, obviously, you know, but, uh, I just think it could be done. And I think the way I'm talking about it would actually be better than hiring a couple people. I mean, or I guess you could hire them and then do also what I'm saying, but that I'm trying to keep the cost down. You know, you have the one person that already is in the job that has the ex-military training that will be able to put this group together, you know. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts below. I mean, it could, obviously, the, it was just a quick thing I thought of, so definitely could be fine-tuned, but I definitely think it's better than what they're talking about doing. All right, have a great day.